A new study on cell phone radiation is raising cancer fears this morning. Researchers say lab animals exposed to the same type of radiation found in cell phones had increased rates of brain and heart tumors. Our Dr. David Agus is skeptical of that report. He leads the Westside Cancer Center at the University of Southern California and is with us from Los Angeles. Good morning, David. Good morning. So this study found that cell phone radiation developed in the brain in rats uh, led to uh, heart tumors. And, and I'm just questioning, how did they come to measure that specifically? So it's an interesting study. Is This was looking at rats and mice and they exposed them for 18 hours to cell phone radiation, on and off, 10 minutes on, 10 minutes off. And what they found at the end of two years, so starting five days after conception for two full years, what they found is that 3% of the males, the females, no difference at all, but in the males, there was 3% of them had these uh, brain tumors called gliomas. Historically, this strain of rat 2% of them have gliomas. In this study, none of the controls did, but it certainly calls into question. But I think the most important and interesting fact is that the uh, rats that were exposed to radiation lived longer than the rats who weren't. So one of the reasons we may have seen more is that they actually live longer than the control group. The study wasn't that well done. Why, why do you say that, David? Well, you know, this wasn't a published study. The results aren't gonna be published for another year or more. And so in the science world, we normally don't release data when they're not able to be peer reviewed and studied. In fact, one of the reviewers who added an addendum to the end was one of the heads of the NIH who stated, as you can see here, I suspect that this experiment is substantially underpowered and that the ref uh, results may be false. And so I think to alarm the public when the data certainly aren't conclusive and are not you know, able to review by scientists across the country is not appropriate and creates alarm that isn't needed. Yeah, it's not the first time we've seen headlines like this. So why did they release it if you say that it wasn't really a complete result there? I, I'm not quite sure. I mean, they said that, you know, that in order for citizens to be aware, they want to release it. But remember, over the last decade, there have been multiple studies showing that since 1980s, when cell phones started to come out, till today, there's no change in the incidence of brain cancer in the United States, in the Australia, in Europe, all of them, there were studies done showing no real difference. So if there's a dramatic effect on cancers by cell phones, we're not seeing it in humans yet. And so the cause for alarm, I don't think is appropriate. So and we, sorry, well, I was ahead, just Michelle. saying, we should note that gliomas are treatable Gliomas are treatable, and, and you know, when you look at this whole big picture, the biggest danger from cell phones, by far and away, is texting and driving. It has nothing to do with cancer. <laughs> Precis <laughs> okay. Precisely. But if you're worried about it, David, if, if you still have concerns, what do you recommend? Well, I, again, I don't think you should be worried about it, but certainly you can talk on Bluetooth in your car, you can use the speakerphone component, but best of all is something that, you know, I tell my kids every day, have a real conversation with somebody. <laughs> good luck with good that, luck David. Good luck with that, yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> Dr. David Agus, David, thank you.